Hi, I'm Wayne Chapin. If you're a company that has anywhere from 10 to 100 users and you're looking for the latest in modern IT that requires no servers, that is our confident cloud advantage. It's enterprise IT managed by Zerillion and powered by the Microsoft Cloud. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about a few things. Why you might be looking for a new IT company. Why we are different what the perfect setup is, my idea of the perfect computer network, and how we manage IT systems that are in the cloud, and ultimately what the confident cloud advantage is. Some reasons you might be looking for a new IT service. It just isn't working out. What you thought you were gonna get is not what you're getting, and what they thought they were going to be supporting is not what they ended up really supporting. So you're both nice people, but it's time to part ways. Or they might just be spinning their wheels. They're working on something, working on something, working on something, kind of fixing it, kind of fixing it, kind of fixing it, and it's really not getting anywhere. Or their skills are out of date. You're kind of wondering about the solutions they're putting in. You're thinking, hmm, that seems like stuff I remember hearing about 10, 15 years ago. And they're dated solutions. The solutions they're actually putting in and proposing just seem like something from a different time. And you're growing fast. And they're just not able to keep up. Or you're looking at what they're doing and you have strong concerns about your data security. And if the company that you're working with right now is doing a good job protecting your data and you're just squeezed for time, maybe you're an IT manager, you can figure some of this stuff out, but maybe you don't quite have the skills to do the enterprise cloud IT stuff. And you're looking for somebody to come in and help you with that and get you up to speed and get your network running the way you want it to. So why is Aurelian? We have a serverless approach, if possible, and a hybrid approach, if necessary. So we're not anti-server. But I can tell you firsthand, a life without servers is a much better than a life with servers. So what we normally do is we take email, move it into Exchange Online, files moved up into SharePoint Online, but you're still gonna be accessing those files in File Explorer. Don't worry, we got you covered there. Phones are gonna to go to the Microsoft phone system. If we can, you might be in a contract, we might not be able to do it. You might love your phone system, but I can tell you the Microsoft phone system is outstanding. We need to modernize your security, and security is a very boring term, everybody is using it. When I'm talking about security, what I'm talking about is proper control over your data, data access control, and managing the devices that are connecting to that data. And we wanna know that no matter where that data of yours is at in the world, no matter who has it, the security controls are still in place. They don't have to be attached onto your network to have the proper security controls that you need. And then training. We wanna make sure that if we give you all the latest in technology, so we have the latest version of Windows, the latest version of Microsoft Office, you have all these new, very modern cloud services and cloud security, there's one thing that still needs to be updated. It's your end user skills. How many times have you gone and taken a class or watched videos about how to work in Microsoft Office products? Probably not very much. So we wanna make sure you can actually utilize these tools. So inside of our Confident Cloud package, training is part of the program and not boring training. Video micro training. Videos that are 30 seconds to three minutes long and then move you right along. They assume you're comfortable with computers, but you just need to know how to do this, how to do this, how to do this, how to do this, and moves you right along. So the perfect setup. Well, let me tell you what the perfect computer network looks like because I live it every day because I have one. And we've set this up for many clients. So emails, files, and phones are in the Microsoft Cloud. All users are on laptops with video cameras, headsets, or earbuds. Security is identity-based and behavior-based. Data is under your control no matter where that data is or who is holding onto it. And devices accessing your data must be compliant with some basic policies. So let me tell you what I mean by that. If you have this set up just like this, it means that you have no attachment to your office to be able to do your work. You're not hosting anything. So if there's a fire, flood, uh, the, the building is not available or accessible to you, that's fine. Everybody has laptops. Their phone's actually an application on their laptop and they can take that their entire IT and voice and data infrastructure to their home office, to a hotel, to a client, to a coffee shop, it doesn't matter. Everything works exactly the same, and including the phone system. We live that here at Zerillion. At Zerillion, everybody has a laptop and has a video camera. All of our meetings are done as video meetings. Yes, we still get together. Don't worry, we're not just a bunch of IT nerds that don't want to interact with humans. I love humans, I love you. But the thing is, when you're doing video meetings, you're in, you're out of meetings quick, and it doesn't matter where you're at. 
we can share our desktop, we can work on a, a document together, we're not walking into a conference room, sitting down, waiting for people to come in, doing a bunch of small talk, and then trying to hook up to a monitor and show, present things. We just launch right into the video meetings, we're not even worried about who's going to be calling who, we get things done a lot faster. And also, when you're not worrying about servers, we're not worrying about having these big costs every three, five, seven years in the company. And our security is identity-based and behavior-based. So at Zerillion, just having a password is not enough. You actually have to have a registered cell phone, and if the system sees you're trying to connect in and it hasn't seen the device you're connecting in before, it's going to ring your cell phone to make sure that's really you. And also, our system uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to watch our normal patterns of behavior for us accessing and working on our data. And if it sees that, well, you logged in okay, your device is compliant, but this is kind of strange, you're logging in from China, you don't normally do that, we're going to go ahead and, and prompt a second factor authentication. Uh, or if we find that your username and password is floating around on the internet and it's publicly available, we're going to go ahead and lock your account up right away. Also, we have control over the devices no matter where they're at. It's going away the days where we have to have this perimeter-based security where we have a bunch of people behind a, a firewall inside a building. At Zerillion and a lot of our clients, they're all over the place. So what we want to do is we want to control at the gate people coming into the data and when people are into the data we want to control if they're moving that data around do we allow them to move it inside just inside the system do we allow them to move it outside of the system and then if it's moved outside of the system do we still retain security controls with those documents or with those emails and that's the kind of security that you can get inside a modern cloud-based system you couldn't even hope to have something like that in an on-premise system and we work exactly the same whether we're everyone's working at home for a day or whether somebody is working at a client or somebody's at a hotel. And with a modern cloud solution like the Confident Cloud Advantage, you work smarter. You work with online video meetings when possible. And don't worry, you can still get together as a team. It's really in every other week, we still get together for an all-hands company meeting. We see each other, we smile, we laugh, we talk about things like that, and it's great. But outside of that, we get things done, and we do it digitally. We use a chat-based workspace. Stop chatting and email. Use Microsoft Teams and work a lot smarter. And I have a whole other separate video for that. Use videos to document company procedures, policies, and how-tos. Stop trying to make these big, long documents about how to do things that only get updated once every few years. When we get a bunch of people thinking, oh my gosh, nothing's updated, we gotta do a bunch of documentation. Make quick videos and store them into Microsoft Stream, which you get inside the Confident Cloud Advantage, put it there, and from that point then, when everybody needs to see something, they just see a quick video, and then they're off. Take all those company procedures, take all the company how-tos, store them there. It's a much better system. And then use video-based micro-training. Have all this latest technology, but make sure your users know how to use it. Give them a little bit of a training regimen so they go through and they watch these videos to know how to use all these modern tools. Empower them because they don't know what they don't know. So if you go in, watch the videos, and it actually tracks what you're doing, and every three or four videos it stops you, gives you a little quiz to make sure you're really paying attention, and scores you along the way, somebody can do a very simple job of playing quasi-training manager in your company and making sure everybody is getting is learning how to use these tools. And when you have no server, hardware, or hosting to do, there's no servers to purchase, maintain, or refresh. There's no backup and disaster recovery systems. And let me speak about backup and disaster recovery for a second. When you have on-premise systems, and again, I'm not anti-server, I just know what a better world it is to not be dealing with these things, and also what a much better system that you have. So let me talk about the backup and disaster recovery system. When we move clients up into the Microsoft Cloud, we put them in two very important places, for their email and for their documents specifically. Email goes in Exchange Online, and their files go up into SharePoint Online. And again, I'm going to remind you, you're still going to be accessing your files through File Explorer. I want to make sure and reassure you about that. But what we can do is, with your documents, we get a new concept, which is document versioning. So as you save new versions of your document, it keeps track of the old version, so you, any user can right-click on a document and roll back to the previous version. Also, we can set a retention policy, which is to say, even though documents are deleted in the system, we are still going to hold on to them for a year, two years, however long you want. 
that is a much more superior way of managing your data and backups. With the backup system you have right now, there's a separate third system, you know, maybe a couple times a day, once a day it's going in and it's backing up all the data. And if somebody needs to get a file from two weeks ago, they got to call IT, they restore the file for them. Um, and they can't even do that on their own. With document versioning, the users can just go ahead and restore that file. And if the user deletes a file, there's a recycle bin. And if that user deletes the file in the recycle bin, there's a second stage admin access only recycle bin. And if they still delete it there, we have a retention policy. It's still gonna hold that data for a year if we want it, or longer if we need it. That's a much better system than a traditional backup system, even an image-based backup system. And also for your email, you have the same sort of capabilities. An email, if somebody deletes an email, it goes into the deleted items. If somebody deletes it there, we still can go into a deleted item recovery folder. And even if they delete it there or it goes away after the time period, we can still have a data retention policy saying we're still gonna hold that data for a year. That's a much superior system than a backup system. And I didn't have to have any disaster recovery. Let me tell you about a quick story. At Cerulean, again, we are completely 100% in the cloud, files, emails, instant messaging, phone system. And we all are on laptops. We all do video conferencing intensely. We had a day where we came in and it was eight o'clock and the power went out at nine. Well, we didn't know when the power was gonna come back on. It didn't matter. Then we all just went back home. Everybody lit up on their internet connection and they were back online uh, within 15, 20 minutes. And our system was operating exactly the same, including our phone. We didn't have something lame, like going to somebody's cell phone, the main number, or we didn't have a bunch of phone lines that were, were useless uh, sitting back at the office because everybody's phone is on their laptop. That is a much better way to work. And we have, we have a dispatch team. Like when you call in, five people's phones get rang at the same time. And one of those people picks up for the handle scheduling and calls like that because we have a help desk. Everybody was working from home. It ran exactly the same. That's a phenomenal way to operate. You're just not going to be able to work that same way with an on-premise system. And it's all under one umbrella. It's one system, the Microsoft Cloud system. We have 100% total business continuity, real business continuity. Not just if your servers die, we're going to go and spin them up in a data center somewhere, and hopefully within 12 hours, these are going to come up again with even the best disaster recovery systems out there for small businesses, it's gonna be a while before they come back up. You'll get there, you'll get there, but it's gonna be a while. If everything's up in cloud services, you're gonna work exactly the same. There's nothing to spin up, you just reconnect. And, and talking just a bit more about 100% total business continuity, this is the kind of thing that I want for all of our clients and really is at the heart of the confident cloud advantage. It's really in. There's no offsite service to spin up after a disaster. All data, apps, and phones are each person's laptop. And don't worry, if you are somebody that just has to have a handset, you gotta pick up and talk to somebody. I prefer a headset myself. I like to have two hands free while I'm talking to people, much, much more comfortable. I keep a headset in my backpack and I have a headset, a wireless headset at my home office and a wireless headset back at my, at my, my regular office. But anyway, if you're somebody that really has to have a handset, we can set you up that, with that too. But it's really, at the end of the day, it's a little little tiny computer running the Skype or Business app, but it makes you feel comfortable because you can punch around on keys and stuff like that. But the point is, you can still run your phone system inside of your computer. And that's what we use for Skype for Business. It does the audio conferencing, the calling system. It does the auto attendant, the call trees, the call queues. It does our instant messaging. It does our desktop sharing. We do our presentations with it. We use it intensely. And everyone works the same, whether in the office or out of the office. So if you think work from home is a benefit that people really enjoy, I can tell you for sure, 100%, it makes employees happier. And it even makes bosses happier too. When we can go on and we can see, hey, there's everybody, they're doing this or they're doing that. We haven't seen a drop off in productivity. As a matter of fact, I think we have a happier team when people have the flexibility to be able to work from home. But as long as you have a smart system you're working with and a smart IT provider to get you in a digital workspace, a modern digital workspace, this is a game changer for your company. Mm -hmm. And I can't emphasize enough how nice it is that our phone system works exactly the same 
in or out of the office, and it's not a third-party system. It's all the same system in the Microsoft Cloud. And the work from home thing, to talk about that just a little bit more. Sometimes I talk to people and I'm like, well, work from home is not going to work for us. Well, listen, I know in the world I work in, it's, it's an expectation. And everybody these days has very big fat pipes to the internet, very stable pipes. It's so different in 2018 than it was in 1998, for example. So employees these days can work the same at home as they do in their office. You just got to get your infrastructure set up properly and get it set up with somebody who knows how to get this up for you. There's a way to do it. There's some training. And really, if you have smart, ambitious people in your company and you consider your company a company of learners and a company of innovators, that's all you need. Now you just got to put the system in place to let them thrive. And employees will be less stressed and appreciate their job more. And then you have subscription-based IT services. So if you need more IT, we just add another subscription. If you need less IT, we remove a subscription. And there's no big capital cost every five years. In this sort of environment, all you have to replace are computers when they get slow, because you're always going to be licensed for the latest version of Windows. So all we have to worry about is when the computers get slow, I don't know when that would be, three, four, five years, six years, then we'll replace it. Then you'll probably, be, probably have some printers, but nowhere near what you used to have, we hardly print out anything anymore. We do everything digitally, and everything that needs to be signed, we use through DocuSign. It's a fantastic way to work. But beyond that, you might have a firewall, maybe, but even the relevance of those is starting to go away. Because your people are outside of your corporate network, it's not doing a lot for you. But the point is, we don't have any big capital costs every five years. And then let's talk about updates. So in a cloud world, every month, Microsoft sends out patches for Windows, Office, and your cloud services. On the cloud services, they put those in, and they push those out for Windows and Office, and we manage those to make sure those are going on and make sure that any of the systems that are not taking the updates, we get notified about. And also on the cloud services, we're also noti notified about pending updates that are coming, and they just schedule them. They say, if you want to change the schedule, that's fine, but this update's coming, just to let you know, you might, might want to talk to your users, make some adjustments if necessary. And then every six months, Microsoft upgrades Windows Office and your cloud service services. They add new features, new functionality, and new security technology. You can't keep up this cycle with an on-premise system. So let's go back and talk about training real quick. So you're going to have the latest version of Windows and Office. But there's one thing that's not getting updated, and that's your user skills. And we take care of that with the Confident Cloud Advantage. Our video-based micro-training system teaches people how to use modern IT tools and apps in short 30-second to 3-minute video segments. You, take, you watch a few videos, and it stops you. You take a quiz, and it makes sure you're actually paying attention. And I've done it myself, where I kind of spaced out on the last video, and then I go to do the quiz, and I'm like, oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention. I have to go watch the video then. I come back, take the quiz, and I can move on to the next stuff. And it scores you along the way. So somebody who's, who's handling training management in the company can watch and see who's taking it seriously and who's not. But the more people to get up and take the training, the how-to training, the more they'll learn how to use these tools, and you can have a more innovative company. And as new features are added in the system, new videos come in for you to be able to watch and learn fast. So let's talk about managing a cloud-based system. Sometimes people think, well, if I move up everything up in the cloud, there's nothing to manage, right? There was a time I thought that might be the case too. But what has happened is the cloud-based systems are a million times more sophisticated and feature-rich than anything we ever put on site. And they keep getting upgraded every six months. So let me talk about what Microsoft does and they do not do. Microsoft manages the hardware and updates for the software. That's it. The rest is up to us. Microsoft does not manage how you secure your data. They do not manage who is accessing your data. They do not manage how people access your data. They do not manage end-user computer OS updates and antivirus. They do not manage the compliance and the computers connecting to your data. They do not manage mobile apps connecting to your data. They do not review or remediate the hundreds of alerts needing review every single month. And they don't manage the schedule of updates each month. On a Microsoft system, when we set up in the cloud, Confident Cloud Advantage, each month a client will have anywhere from 100 to 200 different alerts and notifications that have to be reviewed. Some of them we can have turned automatically into alerts which go into tickets. Most of them we can't. 
they have to go, we have to go through, log in, check the system, log out. Log in, check the system, find any errors, make tickets on the errors, log out. Log in to the next portal, check for errors, any problems, send in tickets, log out. And on most systems, we'll have anywhere from five to nine different portals that we have to go in and review and manage and make sure they stay clean. And I can tell you, there is no time when we've ever had an enterprise cloud system where we don't go in and go, oh my gosh, what, what is this, what is this? There's constantly errors in the system that need to be cleaned out if you want a healthy, secure system. It used to be we would log into a server and do the check. We don't do that anymore. We log into a web portal and do the check. And there's much more to check in a cloud system than there ever was with an on-premise system. And then how we manage cloud-based IT services. So instead of logging into servers, you log into a dashboard portal. There are nine dashboard portals in our cloud management system. There's the Office 365 Admin Notification Center dashboard. There's the Office 365 Security and Compliance dashboard. There's the Office 365 Secure Score dashboard, very important one. The Windows Defender Advanced Threat Protection dashboard. The Cloud App Security dashboard. The Intune Device Compliance dashboard. The Intune Device Configuration dashboard. The Azure AD Identity Protection dashboard. And the Intune App Protection dashboard. This is not a joke. This is the stuff that we've narrowed down in our proprietary process over three years now to say, okay, these are the important things that we have to go in and manage because they spit off a bunch of errors and they have dashboards that show the errors. Who's gonna look at them? Because your system might be working, you might be connecting, but it's messed up and it's not secure and anybody can get into the system. So who's managing that? And I'll also say, you can't just take the smart person in the office and say, hey, go at it. It is way more overwhelming for them. They need to go in, get some training before they start punching a bunch of holes into your system that you're not aware of. Again, just because the system is up doesn't mean you're secure and that your data is safe. And as I mentioned before, the system generates between 100 to 200 notifications and alerts each month. So in the cloud management system, let's talk about some of the alerts that come up. These are actual examples of alerts that, we, that come into the system that we need to determine, do we have something that needs to be remediated or not? We get prevent and fix alerts and tickets. We get plans for change and notices. We get subscription alert problems. And number four, five, and six are very important. If you have the subscription that has, because we have three different levels of our plan, if you have the plan that has artificial intelligence and machine learning in it, it will be looking out for unusual amounts of external file sharing, unusual amounts of file copying, unusual amounts of file deletion. Who's looking at that? On your current system right now, I guarantee you have no visibility into any of that stuff. If they take the whole client folder and copy it, they're not gonna let you know on their way out as they leave the company. Sign-ins after multiple failures, sign-ins in, sign from unknown sources, sign-ins from multiple geographies. You know, if somebody's logging in from Chicago and Shanghai at the same time of the day, we might have a problem there. Mailbox forwarding rules. Has somebody set up every single email is being forwarded over to a personal email account? Service health alerts or suspected risky sign-in behavior alerts or user accounts that are for sale on the dark web or alerts on the health and security of computers connecting to your data. We can set up the system so it's not only watching for normal patterns of behavior of people connecting into your data services, but it's also looking for normal patterns of behavior of the apps running on the individual devices. And if it starts to see an app that's moving along from computer to computer, we might want to flag that and take a look. And also devices that are failing a compliance policy. Because I'll say it again, just because a computer is up and you're connected does not mean your system is safe or secure or somebody isn't inside your your system right now, seeing what they can do with your information. And the one that's also really important is number 19 there. Monitor notices in your account about new apps, new features, or new security technology that must be manually enabled. Microsoft will do these upgrades. They will put these new functionalities in the system, but a lot of times they will just be off by default. And again, you don't know what you don't know. So you can't take advantage of these systems that you're already paying for. Every six months, these really neat new enhancements come out, and we can separate the good stuff from, from the stuff that probably isn't gonna impact you so much. And then cloud security alerts. Again, just because your system is up and ava available doesn't mean your system is secure. And what do we mean by security? We mean having control of your data. So we wanna make sure that we set up new accounts with proper permissions to restricted data. So think about that for a second. You take the smartest person in the company and say, well, you know, you're not really an IT person. 
uh, but we're going to turn you into one. We need you to set up a new user and set them up with all the proper permissions for very sensitive areas uh, around your computer network. Well, maybe you want a third party to handle that for you, which I would advise. In our employee confident onboard and deport processes, we handle that for you. Disabling accounts for ex-employees properly and securely, and manage and review who can see company data where. You don't necessarily want people to be able to take a personal computer and synchronize the entire company finance folder, the entire company clients folder, the entire projects folder. And even if somebody could do that right now, again, they're not going to call and let you know that they're doing that. You want to manage and review who can view, copy, and company data outside of company storage. You want to manage devices and apps that are not allowed to, come to connect to your data. In our case, we control what devices are allowed to connect into our system in Zerillion. If it is an unregistered device, if it's unknown, then that device is not going to be allowed to connect. You want to manage the security of the mobile apps connecting your data. All, almost everybody watching this video allows their employees to connect in with personal mobile devices and synchronize whatever they want. That is not a good practice. We can do better than that, and we could do that without putting applications or installing anything on their personal devices. And we want to manage data access and sync controls for your users. Again, we don't want people to be able to just synchronize everything wherever they want. And we want to configure and manage multi-factor authentication. So when somebody connects in, if the system has not seen that device they're connecting from before, what we then want to do is ring their cell phone and make sure it's really them. And then we want to configure security and access controls to your cloud services. So some common end user issues in the cloud system. So another thing that comes up, well, okay, I, maybe, maybe I, Wayne, I, I understand that. We get this cloud system, it's more sophisticated, there's a lot to do, it doesn't fix everything in the world, we still need a new IT company. Well, what's some of the issues that can come up? I won't go through all of them here, but I listed 30, and these are from actual tickets from our clients that have cloud managed systems. I forgot my password. Where's my email? I can't open encrypted emails. I'm getting lots of spam. My emails are being blocked. My file's not syncing. I can't log in. I need access to files. Outlook's taking too long to boot up. Outlook won't load up. I need access to the SharePoint folder. My apps aren't <laughs> deactivated. My computer won't boot. I can't load my files. I lost my laptop. I can't access a website anymore. The VPN stopped working. I need this computer transferred to this user. My app stopped working. You get the idea. Every day, people will be connecting in and they'll have problems that we still have users connecting on their computers and their mobile devices. They need support. And so you can have user A trying to connect in and they have a problem. Their computer won't boot up. They can't get into email. And then that user now is down. Then if you don't have an IT company that can, they can just call, they might have to talk to another user and that user is going to help. User B is going to help user A. And now you've got two people down in the company trying to fix a problem they're really not necessarily qualified to fix. What if you could just call Zerillion and say, you know what, my computer won't boot up, can you help me through this? And we can get that person's issue resolved quickly, promptly, and only one user is down, but we get them up way faster because we're dealing with this stuff all the time than if that user was trying to resolve it themselves or they had another user in the company trying to help them out. So now I'm going to talk about the Confident Cloud Advantage. The Confident Cloud Advantage is our enterprise cloud managed IT service product for companies between 10 and 100 users. And we support them, we give this, them this entire infrastructure for a flat rate. So that combines the Wow Health Desk Unlimited. So it's unlimited support for your users to take care of their problems quick. And we can take care of their problems quicker and cheaper than they try to resolve it themselves or, or somebody else in the company tries to resolve it for them. And the cloud management system. Just because your system's in the cloud, Microsoft will manage the hardware, they'll manage the software updates, the rest is up to us. And the system will kick off 100 to 200 alerts and notifications each month, and that's what the cloud management system is about, and also the cloud security system. It's a proprietary digital punch list process that we go through every single month to make sure that the system is clean and we're catching all the notifications and alerts that need to be attended to. And then the virtual CTO Unlimited, the chief technology officer. That's where we have access to our highest level engineers who meet with you on a business basis at least once a year, if not two times, to go over your technology and put together a plan to make sure that your technology is lined up with your business goals. And then the confident onboard and offboard process. This is ensuring that new employees are set up promptly and securely and ensuring that exiting employees no longer have access. The thing is, once you get into the competent cloud advantage and move your system into the cloud, once you're done, you're done. 
And what I mean is, we won't be coming back in five years and saying, hey, we got to do this again. We got to put a whole big infrastructure in place. You'll never go back to having an on-premise system again. And again, it's just adding users, removing users, adding users, removing users. There's no system refreshes to do. We just replace computers as they get slow, as they will always have the latest version of Windows. And we will always have the latest technology. You'll have 100% business continuity. And it's a really good, reassuring place to be. So thanks for watching this video. And if you're interested in the Confident Cloud Advantage, if you want to be able to get enterprise IT with the same capabilities and security as Fortune 500 companies for a very low price, and the company to manage that and advise you and your business along the way, that's what we're here for. So if you want to know more, just contact us. You can go to our website, and right on the front page is a form you can fill out, and we'll be happy to set up a meeting for you. If you want to email us, you can reach us at support at or you can call us, 847-995-9800. Thanks again for watching this.